Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. For fans, by fans, I'm Daniel Grimmel. This is Christopher Drives, but you already know us. And if you already know us, you know who we're brought to you by Hockey Locker. 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can give them a call at 414-800-7585. Or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You'll get all your hockey essentials, your skates, pads, helmets, jerseys, pants, socks, cup if you need one. Uh, figure skaters, you can go there as well and get ice skates. Everybody, you can get your uh, ice skates sharp in there. They're located across the street from Wilson Park Ice Center. Uh, you can Kitty get corner from Clark jerseys Gas Station. from all the teams in the Midwest. And you can get Milwaukee Admiral jerseys. Yep. Um, Plus, they do jersey customizations. They'll give you good customer service if you go in the store. And while you're there, tell them that we sent you. Yep. They know who we are. Yep. Um. So, I normally don't show up, start out our shows on a bad note. Um, we are sending our thoughts and prayers to a family. Um, uh, Tiny, was that? Uh, Tucker Tynan of the OHL, he plays for the uh, uh, Niagara Ice Dogs. Um, he took a gruesome injury and is currently, uh, according to the team, in stable condition, but he is in surgery. Um, he took, uh, they were in the first period, and one of the London Knights players had came in and basically lost his edge and went feast first into the back of the goalie's leg. Yeah, and the boy had caught the goalie's leg and caught him, and it was a pretty gruesome-looking scene, blood everywhere, and he needed emergency surgery. So uh, a stick tap and a get well soon, Tucker Tynan. Yeah, um, only reason... Our thoughts are with you, buddy. We don't want to see anybody get seriously hurt on the ice. This game's dangerous enough. We have to look out for each other out there. Also, uh, add in that, uh, we... Only reason we were aware of this is because we follow them because of Tomasino. Uh, Philip Tomasino, one of the Predators' prospects. Um, yeah. Uh, from, the, from what he had said in an interview, he said that was the scariest thing he'd ever seen. Yeah, it looked bad. We unfortunately had a chance to see video of it. It's not pretty. Um, so our thoughts. Yeah, um, are yeah if you're going to go look, make uh, sure your it's kids not are not in. Faint of heart. Yeah, like don't. If you've got a squeamish stomach around blood, don't watch. It's not good. I wish I was exaggerating about that, but it's not. There's a lot of blood on the ice. It's not good. But he is looking to. Hopefully make a recovery, but he is currently... In I surgery. also give props to the Ontario Hockey League for canceling this game. Yeah. So, uh, that is a bit of a somber way to start the show, but we had to talk about it because it's a serious thing that happened. You know... And we don't want anybody to get hurt. Especially since he's in a junior team and one of the top goalie prospects in this, uh, this year's coming draft. Um, yeah. So one one of the things we think of every time we see that is that's gonna hurt the future of the game. Every time I see a young kid get hurt, that hurts the future of the game. Yeah. I mean, there's no real way to stop this from happening. Nah, it was a freak accident, but it happens more than you think, but not as bad as this. Yeah, this it would be bad. Whenever you get ice skate and blade and leg, it's never really good. And goalie, it's worse because your legs are your life. And yeah. that's well, me. Your legs, you're a bad goalie. Yeah, I, I, I'm speaking as experience. I have bad knees, and I'm going to have bad knees the rest of my life thanks to playing goalie. So, yeah. let alone, I, you think about it, I just, if I went pro, I'd probably still be playing. I'm 30 years old, and I got bad legs. I probably would have had to retire at like 25. You'd probably be with the Ice Hogs. Ha, huh, I'd probably be in the ECHL. <laughs> All right. You'd be down there in that, what is that one league where the Peoria Rivermen play? Oh, the SPHL? Yeah, that one. That league's not that hard to get into, but from what yeah, I hear... Yeah, no, from what I hear, it's not that hard. It's hard to get into the AHL, because you got to get drafted for that. You can't just walk on to the AHL team. Well, you can. It's just not the, like, the easiest thing. It's not know. likely to make the team because you're going up against these top prospects. You'd have to be, like, really effing good. All right, so into today's game. Um, we went from one bad news to another one. 
Predators lose 4-3. Um, the one thing before we get into the really bad news, let's get the good news out of the way. Um, congrats to Matthias Ekholm for playing in his 500th game. 500th NHL game. Yep. And I specified it, it was his 500th NHL game. And I do have a weird stat for you guys, so let me pull that up so you can read the stats. Uh, okay, uh, shots on goal were uh, 39-32 Nashville. Uh, Face-off percentage, 53% Nashville, uh, 48% Buffalo. Both teams were 0 for on the power play. Nashville's 0 for 2, Buffalo 0 for 1. There was not a lot of penalties called tonight, which is... There were many stoppages in play. Yeah, the puck kept flying out of the arena and all sorts of stuff. All right, so... um, I'm not done yet. Uh, You got two penalty minutes for the Preds, uh, four for the Sabres. Uh, It hits for a 16-12 Buffalo. Uh, Blocks for a 13-8 Buffalo. Both teams had eight giveaways. Now you can go. All right, so this is just a weird stat because Ekholm played in his 500th game. Oh, that one. Um, this is every Admirals defenseman drafted by the Predators that's played in 500 NHL games or more. Shea Weber, Roman Yossi, Dan Hamhus, Ryan Suter, Ryan Ellis, and Matthias Ekholm. That's nuts. What? What? It looked like you were thinking really, really hard and you were going to poop yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Uh, I was going to say, practically everybody on that list is still playing. Yeah. And it's impressive that they draft so well defensively. Yeah. All right, so let's get into the goal scoring, shall we? On a beautiful goal from Matt Duchesne, his eighth of the year, was an assist from Kyle Turris. Then, uh, Jimmy VC. Jimmy VC, for all you prior fans, is not liked well by the Nashville organization. Uh, he scored his fourth with an assist from Mr. Line in his 13th. Um, and then Colton Sisson scored his seventh with an assist from Ryan Ellis, his 17th. Then Jack Eichel scored two in a row. Um, one. It was his 21st with an assist from uh, Sam Reinhart and Colin Miller. Reinhart's 14th, Miller's 5th. Then uh, Eichel scored again with an assist, his 22nd, with an assist from Yoki Haru, his 7th, and Rasmus Stalin, his 15th. Then I warned you about Eichel. Uh, then uh, Ryan Johansson scored his 6th with an assist from Forsberg, his 11th, and Yarncroft, his 11th. And then Victor Olofsson, another guy we warned you about, mm-hmm. um, has scored his 13th with an assist from Brendan Montour and Sam Reinhardt. Yeah, uh, with uh, uh, Eichel's second goal tonight, that moved him into uh, second place on the season scoring uh, list, only behind Ovechkin. Um, also, uh, in that was UC Saros. He stopped 28 of 32 with a .8. 7-5 save percentage. Saros did play very well. It just yeah, seemed did. like it just seemed like not a good night to like I don't know. A couple of those goals that Buffalo had looked like they were kind of fluky. Like, like that one that went it'll... like directly over uh, Saros' shoulder like in between his shoulder and the pipe. That looked kind of fluky. No, that was a Jack Eichel goal. That was a Jack Eichel goal. I know, I'm just saying, but that that looked pretty fluky, how it just goes up over his shoulder behind his head and in. I mean, if Um, he would have moved an inch or two back, he would have stopped it. uh, Linus Allmark stopped uh, 36 of 39 with a .923 save percentage. That's his third win in a row. Yeah, we warned you about him on our last uh, video. All right, uh, scratches for Nashville were Yakov Trenin and Matt Irwin. Uh, scratches for Buffalo were uh, Zach Bogosian, Casey Milstead, and Connor Sherry. Um, from what I read today, Bogosian and Casey Milstead both requested trades from Buffalo, which is why? why they were not in the lineup. I wonder why. Mm, they want same thing that uh, they want that top line. Mm. He, they want more time on ice, pretty much. Well, because you're top line, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get more ice time. Well, yeah. Because you figure there's a rotation that that coaches use. Every line gets ice time. 
They should just know the role and be happy that they're not riding the bench. Right? Yeah. Um, up next, we have uh, the Milwaukee Admirals versus the Chicago Wolves. Yep, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena here in the, I want to say lovely, but here in downtown Milwaukee. Uh, it can you be. Like how I said that, I wouldn't say lovely. <laughs> It's not the best, it's not the worst. <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee ain't that great, but eh, I'm here. All right, like he said, we play the Wolves. Um, We're better than there. <laughs> yeah, the supposedly Chicago. Rosemont. <laughs> Anyways, we got this kid. This kid has been a rookie, but he's been lighting it up lately. Lucas Elvinus. 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 That kid. That 27 games played. He has 20 goal or 20 assists and seven goals. He's a minus seven as well, so that kind of doesn't help well, his case the much. Wolves, the Wolves ain't really that great this year, but he's gonna be a hot player to watch for years to come. All right, then we got Curtis McKenzie. Uh, 27 games played, 10 goals, 10 assists. Then we have Gage Quinney. Uh, 19 games played, six goals, 11 assists. Then we have Ty McGinn, 27 games played, 7 goals, 5 assists. And then we have uh, Dylan Coughlin, 26 games played, 5 goals, 7 assists. That's basically their top 5. Uh, the Admirals are currently 2-1 and one against the Wolves. This will be their fourth meeting. Uh, their last meeting of the season was back on November 13th. Milwaukee won 6-3. Anybody have a specific good night that night? Uh... I'm a check right now. Well, I read into the goalies. Um, there. Oh, Daniel Carr had two goals that game. Okay. Like literally, it just popped into my head. Daniel Carr, but we all know where Carr is. So. Um, so Garrett Sparks has started 14 games. He has two shutouts with a four wins and eight losses and two overtime losses. He has a .923 save percentage. Um, he is perfect in the shootout. Uh, he has a goals against average of 2.46. Uh, then we have Oscar Dansk, who has 13 games played. He is 6-6 six and six with no overtime. He has one shutout and a 3.33 goals against average with a .84, with a .884 save percentage on the year. Um, overall, the Wolves are 11... 14 and 2. Uh, what's the record in the last 10? Five, uh, one, five, or bleh, four, five, and one. Yeah, they're currently two and three in their last five. They lost their last game. Yeah, um, they're, no, they won. Their last Curtis Marty lost their last game. They won their last game. Hottest team in the league, right in the division, right? Dude, don't even say it. Is the Texas Stars. Aww. Weak. Actually, I was the, trying to have you avoid that. But. Actually, the Texas Stars are about to pass them if uh, if they win tomorrow and we win and the Wolf, and we win tomorrow and the Wolves will be in last place. <laughs> Come on, Chicago, keep on dropping. Even people in Rockford will be happy for that. <laughs> and Grand Rapids, they don't even have a team. Detroit called up everyone. Yeah, Detroit's uh, doing something weird this year. We'll see how it plays out. Um. Right now we are we have forty two points, um, and the next closest team is the Rockford Ice Hogs with twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good a uh, what? Let's see, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen game cushion, thirteen point cushion. Yeah, that's our that's our uh, age. I'll talk. So about the Preds, what do you think's gonna happen in the Predators uh, situation? Right now, nothing. I honestly think right now, nothing. Ugh, what the heck's going on back there? No clue. Probably spent too much time talking about the AHL, not a green screen screwing up on us. And well, the show's almost over. Hey, don't quit screwing with baby. There we go. Well, <laughs> the hat's messed up, and I'm kind of a little flurry, but we'll work on it. Yeah. Um... I'm just saying right now, I don't see it as they're losing horribly. No, losing by one tonight ain't bad. No, and it's not like they like just went, here, have it. Yeah. 
I mean, we were honestly hoping it would have went to overtime. Yeah, I'd have been... Points point. Yeah, um... Hey, tell everybody your theory about when do you think they'll uh, make a coaching change if they indeed make one. I'd say after the season, on the basis of, you need to... Okay, here's the thing. Let Carl Taylor, if that's who you want, finish out the rest of this year in Milwaukee and see what he can do under a system and get the system with the younger guys here still going. Yeah. He, You know, you can still say, hey, Laviolette, after this year you're gone and Carl Taylor's taking over, but you have to get the guys ready to play his system. If you don't, we're going to fire you now. Yeah. So that's pretty much what could happen. Um, if it gets really bad, it'll be a, you're done, you're gone. Basically you're gone. Like the all-star break type thing. Yeah, if, if they don't have a chance at the all-star break, he's gone. I can't believe how far he's fallen when it comes to just a couple years ago, they were playing the Penguins in the Stanley Cup, and now look at him. But also look at the Penguins right now. They're not exactly lighting the world on fire. No, they're not. So you can't remain at the top forever, and that's one thing that we all know. So eventually the Predators were about to crash and... And one miss year, out on the here's playoffs. the here's the thing. Don't if you're gonna miss the playoffs, please don't buy. If you got guys on the end of your contract, sell. Yeah. Try and get a couple extra picks, build your future, and then go into free agency with a boatload of money. Yeah, not to mention if you're gonna tank, tank to the point where you get a top five pick. Well, if you're in the top fifteen, you're normally pretty good. Well, either way, man, shoot high. If you're gonna tank. Lose like 10 in a row, stuff like that. If you're fully going to tank, just tank. If you're going to win, win 13 in a row. <laughs> you know, us Milwaukee Admiral fans, we had the pleasure of having that happen this season. Just last week. But yeah, um, something's got to give, but I can't believe we're getting to this type of talk now, and it's not even at the All-Star break. Well, that's like the thing, like, I try to avoid it for now. I, like I said, uh, that's one of those things where you, let's talk about it come All-Star break. If it's something as simple as, look, Arby's injured. You're missing one of your top scoring, one of your what top. What does he do to come back, anyways? Sometime this month. All right, all right. Sometime around the Winter Classic. Anywhere in that gap. Well, hopefully he could play in the Winter Classic. That would be cool. Yeah, I'm actually I, looking forward to it, a winter classic. I just don't want to wake up at 11 in the morning to watch it, but we have to. But this this has been our show. Um, By the way, normally we do our uh, In the System on... We'll be doing that Saturday. Tomorrow. We're doing that tomorrow, remember? We changed the oh, schedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, due to Saturday having a double header, and the game's at different time periods, we're going to move... And the system to tomorrow, therefore giving us time to do a little bit more on Saturday of digging, looking around for other things. Yeah, and tomorrow we will be at the Panther Arena for the Admirals game, so feel free to say what's up. And uh, continue supporting us, continue uh, watching our videos. Also support our friends over at Hockey Locker. Also, uh, tell your friends to give us a like and a follow. Yeah. We're trying to grow our fan Oh, so go over to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. This video should be on YouTube. This video will be on YouTube probably after this one's on Facebook. Yeah, yeah I know, but YouTube takes forever to upload. <laughs> also, YouTube's, uh, there's all sorts of issues there. Uh, I don't want to go into it now. Uh, Copa. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Copa. Anyways, uh, yeah, support us. We're trying to get the YouTube thing going, but our main priority right now is Facebook because we are close to 800 likes. And if we can get 800 likes and 800 subscribers, hopefully we can start making some money. Yep, um, we're looking at trying to get going a little more. Um, we've, we've got a few, I got a few phone calls out. We're going to keep going. Yeah, we're, uh, our goal is to try to get uh, monetization through Facebook, and we need to have fan support. So keep liking our, uh, keep liking our page, uh, follow it, watch our videos, you know. That's all we're asking from you guys, just continue to support us. And feel free to advertise for us. Yep. Um, we're not going to argue with free publicity. 
Um, so uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville by fans for fans. We cover everything. Nashville Predators, Milwaukee Admirals, and Florida Everblades. Also, we cover the juniors twice a month, um, every other week otherwise. And we do periodically talk about the NHL, <coughs> if there's a big story going around. Uh, much li- Or hockey, the hockey world, much like today. Like tonight, unfortunately. I um, wish it would have been a nice hockey story tonight to kick off the show. Um, in our future, we will be doing um, uh, thoughts and idea, uh, thoughts and uh, our opinions of certain things. Um, I'm gonna be working on the uh, the uh, the uh, we are gonna be doing uh, saw stuff like looking at NHL right, arena. Right, right, right. In the middle of the podcast, I'll call you back at five. Five. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Damn sister dinner. She she claims she watches our videos, but she don't. Alright, um, but no, uh, we're going to be looking at jerseys, arenas, stuff like that. Giving <coughs> our thoughts. 